Thanks, Brian. And another polling question, you know, you touched on it a little bit uh, with some of my colleagues' questions. You mentioned how the president said Friday that the state of the economy is strong. Uh, we had a poll out over the weekend, ABC News, that found that 41 percent of Americans say they're worse off financially now than before this president took office. How do you explain the disconnect there of why this administration's message about the strong economy is not getting through? Right. So. So I think, I think the poll that you just uh, said is actually consistent. So about two-thirds of Americans say that their, uh, their circumstances are better than, uh, uh, than before, you say it either way. Um, uh, and I think that, uh, that it is the case that if you look at the kind of key measures of um, basic economic security, uh, do I have health insurance? Do I have $400 in the bank um, in case my car breaks down or I have another emergency expense? Am I um, late or delinquent on a credit card bill? Am I facing foreclosure? If you look at all of those measures, they, um, on average, American households are in a better position than they were before the pandemic uh, hit. Uh, and that's true for the lower income uh, uh, quartiles uh, as well. And so I think that um, that is in part reflected in the data that you're saying, is that, that, that more Americans believe they're in a better uh, economic uh, uh, position in terms of their own uh, balance sheet, their own family balance sheet. And at the same time, uh, in the way that we were talking about before, this has been a very challenging period with, uh, um, with the pandemic and all of the ways in which the second and third order ways in which that's affect our lives and the way that we operate in the economy. Uh, with the war in Ukraine and the, and the, the cascading impacts on supply chains and on uh, the ways it affects things that, you know, the, the basic price of things that people pay in the grocery store. And so for all those reasons, it's, uh, it's understandable that even as personal household circumstances for the majority of people have improved, the anxiety, the, 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 the economic anxiety is real. So I, I just go back to the answer I gave before, which is why the president will both speak directly to the fact that we have more work to do, uh, but also underscore how the progress we have made to date can paint a picture to move forward and why we should then commit to the proposition of seeing these uh, policies and this policy vision through. I should okay. basically have my so I'll Yeah, have. I mean, building off that same question, um, I, I guess when uh, you've been asked variations on this, on the perceptions uh, voters are having in the economy, but when do people start feeling more optimistically about the outlook? And just to clarify on the, the stat that was just cited, it's only 16% of those in the poll, poll believe uh, they're financially better off than when they enter, than when Biden entered the office, uh, the White House. It's 42% feel about the same. So just to clarify, it's only 16% are feeling better off. Yeah. So what? So yeah. when do people start feeling? More people start feeling uh, better off uh, about the financial future of the country. Well, look, I, I think that um, I, I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to repeat myself only to say um, we have more work to do. Uh, but if you look at the progress that we have made, uh, particularly uh, the recent progress that we have made uh, with inflation coming down, gas prices coming down, real wages as a result um, uh, going up, and the labor market opportunities that, uh, that, that come from a strong, historically strong job market, those are all reasons why we should, uh, we should continue to continue down the path of the progress that we have made. Ultimately, the ultimate, uh, you know, the, the, the ultimate uh, test of, of an economic policy and an economic outcome is whether families feel more economic security uh, in their lives. Um, and if you look at numerous measures, as we just discussed, um, we have come through this recovery, it, uh, recovering people's economic security historically fast and historically equitable. And we have to keep making progress on that.